Good morning, YouTube. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater with Grayson. We're going to be doing a Sonos system today. You guys know I love Sonos. It's probably one of the best distributed audio systems on the market. I love the control system more than the wireless speakers, but in this particular situation, we're just going to throw these guys up, do a little bit of custom work, but the customer didn't want to go to the extent of full on in wall surround sound. So what we're going to be doing is using these Play 5s. Sonos Play 5 is a very affordable plug and play speaker system. They have the one as well as the three, um, and this is the, the biggest version. They also have the play bar and the play bass, and then the beam, and then the Sonos sub. In this room, we're using these as our rear surrounds. Two of these. And the other one is gonna go here in the kitchen. We're just gonna set it back here and plug it into that TV so that she can either pair all the rooms together or she can independently group them out if she wants like to feed off this cable box in here. So this is the room where we're gonna hook up the surround sound system. Now, typically I recommend using the play bar instead of the beam for the center speaker, but they wanted the Alexa capability. So this is the beam, which we installed the other day and wall mounted this TV over the fireplace. You can see we did hide all the wires other than these two cords, the optical and the power cable going to the beam. Now, this is gonna run our fronts, and then we're gonna custom install these Play 5s up on the wall, or at least that's the plan for now. Hopefully there's some attic access up there where we can run them. There it is. Which Grayson verified there is, which is good. Now over here, we got the Sonos Sub. Retail on this is 700, retail on the beam is 400, and I think retail on these 5s are 500. We'll uh, upload the process as we go. This is going to be a, a nice little wireless system. Thanks for watching. Now guys, if you haven't ever set up a Sonos piece before, these things are extremely easy. You literally just plug them in. You don't even need to have a Sonos Boost. It's helpful in this situation we do have one and what a Sonos Boost does is it connects your Sonos system to the network hardwired to the router and then from there all the Sonos pieces connect to the Boost which makes setup a little bit quicker. But if you don't have that, no big deal. You can literally just press the button right here on the back, the pair button inside of the Sonos app and within minutes this thing is set up. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get these rears on the network before I actually physically mount them. That way we don't have to worry about pulling them down after the fact. Go ahead and get it done. Check it out. All right, this is a mount that I actually got offline and I'm pretty impressed. It's actually uh, fits like a glove. This is for the Sonos Play 5. You can see I just got it on there. So it actually has a little lip down here at the bottom, rubber, so it doesn't damage the speaker and it just allows it to sit on there. This little clamp goes up on top to really make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Again, they got rubber feet so it doesn't damage the speaker. And then this little guy on the back hand side slides right up in there. So I think this is gonna be a super easy install. Basically, I'm just gonna mount this into a stud up here on the ceiling. And then once we get it mounted into the stud, this is gonna slip right on there and it, you can even angle it towards the target seating area. So I'm pretty interested to see how this turns out. This is a product that you know we should be able to ship to you guys all over the country and um, quickly give you surround sound in any situation, including apartments and townhomes or areas where you don't have attic access and you know you can't put in in wall speakers. So, pretty excited to see how this turns out. As you can see, this is extremely easy to set up. It's a literally one button press, and everything's ready to rock and roll. This customer and many of our customers don't want to deal with it just because they have better things they could be doing with their time. But if you don't live in Dallas and you love the Sonos products as much as we do, we can ship it to you and you can install it yourself and follow along with our video. It's extremely easy to do. You can see the next step is we are going to add this in as part of the home theater system. So you can see it has a little beam right there and we're going to add these in as surrounds. And it's saying, where are we putting it? Are we putting it on the left or are we putting it on the right? left hand side all right moving right along we're gonna add the right in here we go i see the green light i'm gonna go hit one more button whoa and 
and it found it. You guys can see. This is very simple. Connecting. Now, speeds may vary depending on your internet. You can see this particular connection is taking a little bit longer. I'll run a speed test and see what they're getting. Maybe we need to beef up the network a little bit. But it did add it in as the right speaker. And you can see it has the beam and the sub there too. So this is a full 5.1. I do recommend using the play bar for the front, left, right, and center. But this customer wanted the Alex capabilities, which you can only get with the beam. There's an update. We're always going to run our updates. And then we wait. Boom. So what was that? A couple minutes? Everything's up to date. Now we're ready to actually do the installation. Continue. There's one other thing you can do, which is calibrate it, but we need to get these things up on the wall before we do that. You can tell Alexa what to do. Alexa, turn volume down to three. Alexa, pause. Alexa, play. Now we're jamming. Oh, here we go. Grayson's bad dance moves again. <laughs> wow. I don't know where he's been hanging out. <laughs> Step one, lay the blanket on the floor. Protect the hardwood, make cleanup easier. All right, let's get some holes put in the wall. Nobody wants that on their floor. Normally, whenever I hear Grayson grunting, I know that I should probably get up on the ladder and give him the wires because he's in a tight spot and make a video for you guys while he struggles. Right here, hold on. There you go. We'll just feed this one over to the other one. Perfect. Good work. Over here. So next, I'm going to be installing our power outlet receptacle up here. Key things needed to complete this work, wire strippers, a drill, drywall knife, which I've already cut the hole, and then a high voltage back box, power outlet, and a wall plate to make it look pretty. So you're going to knock out the back of the box, and then I'm going to strip back my shielding. Now, if you guys don't know how to install a power outlet, I'd probably recommend you look at one of our other videos on uh, in-depth TV mounting. I've shown it many times, but in a nutshell, what you're going to do is just take your, your hot to your black, your hot to your gold terminals, your common to common, which is your silver terminals, and your green to ground. It's, uh, if you know how to do electrical, it's pretty straightforward stuff here. And then on the other end, Grayson's going to tap off of something that doesn't have a big load on it. Well, she's not going to pull a lot of amperage anyways, but we definitely don't want to overload something and end up flipping the breaker. And as you guys can see, this is a lot of extra work. We could have just shot the high voltage line right into the attic like some of these other companies do. Um, but this is the correct way to do it if you don't want a house fire. So 
check it out. I just got my outlet in. Standard electrical outlet. This does meet building code. Quickest, easiest way to get your Sonos Plate 1s mounted and powered up. Now I gotta do the other side. Check it out guys, I just got the bracket on here and this is actually pretty, pretty legit. It really straps it in there. I could actually mount this right to the ceiling if I needed to for like commercial applications. Pretty cool, little mount. And it's just gonna hook right on there. I'm gonna try to jam all my wires right up in this crevice here so you don't see as much of it. If not, I'm gonna bundle it up right here to the side. But pretty cool mount. And I like how they put the rubber all over it so it's not damaging the speaker at all. I'm gonna get it up on the wall. Dang, check it out. This is super clean. And I was worried my outlet was gonna show. You can't see it at all. Look at that. Ooh, very nice. And I just bundled up with the zip tie and my wires up behind it. So you don't see anything. Probably throw one more zip tie on there. Just to keep them nice and uh nice and tight to that back side. One thing I like with this mount is the fact that it does swivel left and right like this. But one thing I don't like is there's no lock for it. So like right here, I'd like to kind of give it an angle towards my target seating area, but I can't uh, because it doesn't lock into place. But it's all right, I'm gonna do the Sonos tuning and it'll compensate. One down, gotta get one more up there. Sonos speaker number two, surround right. Man, we are good at our job. Got number two up here on the wall. This is our surround right Sonos Play 5. Check it out. Power outlet. All up to code. And it's got this beauty. Mounted perfect. And there's the other one. So it may sound like Grayson's in there playing Star Wars, but what he's actually doing is calibrating the system. It's called AccuTune that Sonos has integrated into the iPad or iPhone. Basically, it just it's using the microphone in the device to kind of measure the sound waves and better adjust the level calibration, kind of like we manually do in an AV receiver, sending the correct amount of power to each individual speaker to help it sound better for that particular room. I'm sure it adjusts the crossovers as well. Pretty interesting little system. This guy. Well, I know you guys enjoyed our video, so make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos coming up. Keep in mind, we are your Dallas home theater company. So if you live in Dallas, we can do this installation for you. And if you don't live in Dallas, we can ship this product all over the country. Free shipping, best prices guaranteed. Give us a call today and somebody will pick up and get that item shipped out today. Thanks for watching. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater.